Hello and welcome to the daily service today. I wonder how you're feeling this morning. Maybe you're feeling lonely. Others might be feeling uncertain or anxious and others more at ease. Well, however we're feeling, it's great to remember that today is the Lord's Day. We can say with the Bible, this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to pray as we begin. Father, you know exactly how we're feeling with all our concerns. Help us to lift our hearts up with the help of your spirit, that we may remember that today is your day, that you are in control and help us to see you and to praise you and then be inspired to trust you and live for you. For Jesus' sake we pray. Amen. Well, however we're feeling, there are always many reasons to praise God. And we're now going to begin by saying the wonderful words of Psalm 100 together. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures for ever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Well, today we're continuing in our series on the Beatitudes at the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount, and we're on to the fifth of Jesus' Beatitudes. Let me read it, Matthew 5, verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. At first glance, we could easily conclude that Jesus is saying, the only way that you will be shown mercy is if you first show mercy to others. But that would go against everything the Bible says. You see, this is not a contract or, or a deal. I do this, then God will do that. No, you see, it goes against everything the Bible says. I will never be able to earn my relationship with God. Which is why the first of the Beatitudes is, blessed is the poor in spirit. We need to realise that we are beggars who don't deserve mercy, don't deserve good things from God. We'll never earn our forgiveness. But once we realise that we are beggars, and yet in our poverty, God looked and came down from all the glory of heaven in the person of his Son to live and to die for us. When we realise that he went to the cross for us, gave everything for us, to pay the debt that we couldn't pay, to rescue us from our poverty and to welcome us into God's family, restored as a child of God with all the inheritance of being his people. Well, when I've realised that, that changes everything. I'll never be the same again. Jesus illustrated this point with the parable of the unmerciful servant. There was a very rich master who wanted to settle his accounts and so he called in a man who owed him a large amount of money, a thousand bags of gold. Well, it was more than a labourer could ever earn in many lifetimes. And uh, the master said, you owe this money and so you and your family will be sold into slavery to pay off the debt. Well, the man fell to his knees pleading with the master to be forgiven and the master relented and he forgave the man and wrote off his debt and set him free. Well the man immediately left his master and went to find someone who owed him just a small sum of money, a hundred silver pieces, just a hundred days wages and he throttled the man, <laughs> grabbed him by the throat and forced him to pay the money. The man pleaded for time to pay, but the servant 
declined and had him thrown in prison. Well, the wealthy master heard about how this man had lived and caught him and put him in prison. He had been shown much mercy, but hadn't shown any mercy to others. But once we have been shown mercy, such infinite mercy by God, well then we'll be changed and we'll want to show mercy to others. I'll want to show mercy even in someone else, even if someone else's sin has resulted in their lives being messed up and in need. I want to help others even when they don't deserve it. I want to show mercy even when it's costly to me because I've been shown such extravagant mercy myself. I want to show mercy even when it's easier to walk past on the other side. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Well, let's now turn to our merciful God as we confess our sin to him. A confession from Psalm 51. We pray together. Lord God, have mercy on us. According to your steadfast love and in your abundant mercy, blot out our transgressions. Cleanse us from our sin. Create in us a clean heart and life and continually renew a right spirit within us. Amen. Well, the Bible says to all who've turned from sin and trusted Christ, once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And so, with confidence, we can say together uh, with Paul in his letter to the Colossians, God has rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his Son. In Christ, our sins are forgiven. We are set free. Amen. We continue in prayer. Heavenly Father, our ever-present help in trouble, our fortress and our God, calm the anxious fears of all who turn to you. Give strength and healing to those who are sick and courage and skill to those who care for them. Grant wisdom and clarity to those in authority and humble us all to call upon you that we may be saved, not only in this life, but also for that which is to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, as we see many in your world in pain and need, uncertain and unsettled, we pray that people would turn to you for stability and comfort. We pray particularly for those who don't yet know Jesus, that by some means they would hear the good news of him. Grant them repentance and knowledge of the truth, that they may know you and the secure joy of eternal life in him. For we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In a moment of silence, we remember before God our own particular concerns and those known to us who are in particular need. Our song today speaks of the wonderful debt that has been paid by Jesus, a debtor to mercy alone.
Well, as you go into this coming day, let us remember that it is the day that the Lord has made, and so rejoice and be glad in him. And now may the God of hope give you joy and peace in him, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen.